All right, we caught a uh, eight man, so we're gonna play that. No Mulligan for me. Pittskulk, Nettle Sentinel, seems pretty good. Unfortunately, we're against Mono Black, which could be really bad. Especially if he runs like Disfigures, then it would be really, really, really bad. Okay, um, which is is pretty darn annoying as well, though. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and go for the Rancor and the Null Sentinel. I don't think he would have blocked the Null Sentinel anyway, but I'd rather just make sure. And then play a Pitskulk. And I really just kind of hope that he has uh, a three drop here instead of a removal spell. Okay, that's pretty good for me too. Uh, let's see here. Six. I can actually kill him, I think. Vines and Groundswell. That's eight plus six power. So, unless he has a disfigure, I win. Even if he has a disfigure, I win. Right. Let's do this. Still don't think he blocks here. Ah, he does block. He does block, so... Yeah, say so if he blocks, then I don't win on the spot. So... Let's go ahead and... Uh, groundswell the Sentinel. This way he can't kill the Sentinel. And play a young wolf and a query ranger. That's a shame. I was hoping he just wouldn't block, and then I could have killed him with vines and ground groundswell. Hey, I think he's still pretty much dead next turn, but yeah. So let's slap a Rancor on. Untap Mr. Forest. Play this. Play another Rancor and you are 100% dead. And I don't even have to use the vines. Okay. Turn four. Could have been a turn three kill. <laughs> Didn't quite get there though. So I think we would just want the Bone Splitter here, and I think we're just going to take out, yeah, just to gather courage, probably. The plus that about playing Stompy is that it's really fast. Hmm. Well, we're not going to mulligan. We're going to hope that our opponent doesn't have a removal spell for a query ranger. Duress. Really? Okay. Well, he's lucky that he had that in his opening hand, I guess. I think he takes the bone splitter here, but he could take the vines. Okay. Either was actually a, a fine play to take there, but eh, well. So here's the Queen Ranger. Gotta hope for no removal or for me to draw another land next turn. Okay, that's good. So we're going to untap the Quarian Ranger to begin with. That way we can throw the Rancor on the Quarian Ranger and um, still have uh, vines to protect it. All right, so that worked out for me. I'm just going to play the Pit Skulk now. Uh, 
a three drop. Ravenous rats. Um, hmm. What am I discarding to that? I think I'm just going to discard a Shinnin. It doesn't do enough right now. Alright, so once again we're going to make sure that we can protect our uh, Rancor. So we're going to slap the Rancor on now with Vines to protect it. And attack in with just the Pit Skulk. I don't want to lose my Query Ranger to a Ravenous Rats. We're going to play the Bone Splitter. say if I was him I'd certainly not be attacking right here. Alright, Rager's fair. Fair enough. Okay, land. Sweet. I don't have to worry so much about the query ranger dying now. And I can actually uh, you know, do the vines of basswood pump to trample over. And save the query ranger. So, yeah. Do we just go for that or? Go for the vines, make them deal with two creatures. Make them deal with more creatures. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go for the vines here. Gets them down to a really low life total. And I think I should win this now. I guess I have two removal spells. Ooh, okay, Tendrils works too. To an extent. Although not actually at all. Right? He's got two power, I'm going to be trampling over him for... Well, I guess it doesn't even matter now. But I could have, uh, yeah, I could be trampling him over, over him anyway. Unless he has a spinning darkness. Hmm, he could have a spinning darkness. Let's play around spinning darkness. So equip this thing. Have the vines. Yep, he blocks. You take five, and you're dead. Okay. Turn 4 kill, turn 5 kill. Seems pretty fair. And that was Mono Black Control.